has come for you to choose. The gay pipe, the peace pipe, or the calm pipe. What's up guys, it's Gloomly7 and we're gonna play a classic. We're gonna play Sonic Mega Collection Plus. <laughs> oh yeah, we're doing this. Can anybody lie back in the uh... Anybody who has been around during the 2000s, like this game was simple as from 2004. <coughs> Yeah, you're in a special treat. You're you're gonna have one hell of a nostalgia trip. Anybody's watching this, you're gonna have one heck of a nostalgia trip. And for those who don't know about what I'm what I'm playing, well, you're about to freaking you're about to see a glimpse into the '90s. You're about to see a glimpse of the early 2000s. Remember, you're about to see a glimpse. You're about to see the early 2000s. Rev loving the '90s. Yeah. You're about to see a game from the early 2000s that has a collection of games from the 90s. It's like nesting. It's like a nesting doll. It's like a nesting doll of nostalgia. It's like nesting dolls of nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a freaking mega collection, so. <clears throat> yeah, it has a lot of this uh, stuff from, uh, it has a lot of freaking uh, covers of old Sonic Archie comics. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> look, I mean, look at all these freaking Sonic Archie comics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all this stuff from the Sonic, all these Sonic Archie comics. Yeah, this game has a collection of covers from the Sonic Archie comics. Hey, remember those? Hey, remember those? It's like, hey, remember those? Yeah, back then, Sally Acorn was pink. Before she got redesigned to freaking, yeah. Yeah, freaking, yeah, that was before freaking Sally Acorn's redesign. That for uh, Sally Acorn's redesign, where she, <coughs> where she became, <coughs> where she became the freaking brown red-haired girl, red-haired tomboy we know and love today. I mean, she's a tomboy princess. I mean, that's hot. You know how much I love tomboys. <coughs> it's like, bro, you know how Sonic marrying a hot tomboy. I mean, that's man, that guy's lucky. It's like, bro. Leave it to Tails to hog all the attention in our wedding day, too. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of Sonic fans might love this video right now. Might, lo might love my video. Yeah, I'm not much. I used to be obsessed with Sonic when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> but then when I found all these Sonic fan brass and the, toxic and the toxicity of the Sonic fan base, I kind of left the fan base when I was in high school. I left the fan base when I was in high school. You know, I grew up in, unlike Christian, I grew up and moved on. And no, I will never make a video on Chris Chan. <laughs> <coughs> if y'all have seen Bogan and that man's video of Chris and brand loyalty, <coughs> you might have heard about how school bullies and a former portal trolling, <coughs> they say that Sonic the Hedgehog is dead to get a ride out of him. But after, but after the late 90s, <coughs> Sonic the Hedgehog did actually start to die. Only to make a few comebacks once in a while, like, like a, like a Ralph, like a aunt or uncle, like an aunt or uncle during family reunions or holidays. Yeah, those school bullies predicted the future. They predicted the future. Yeah, Christian school bullies predicted the future.
I wonder if I should. <coughs> I wonder if I should freaking look into um, get and getting cut, getting surgery to get, make my cosmetic, to make my um, make my canine teeth look like vampire teeth. <coughs> I wonder if I could do that. <coughs> Would I look good at vampire teeth? I heard that. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there might be some girls who still think that vampire boys are cute. Oh, yeah, basically. <laughs> Basically, the other day I heard about this. <clears throat> Basically, the other day I freaking <clears throat> I just freaking heard about this uh, heterophobe, this freaking heterophobe who goes by the name of Marshall, <clears throat> who freaking made a stupid video of of uh, him talking about how how and I quote just beating up a cisset man, feeling good, <clears throat> and, <clears throat> and boy he got turned into a meme. A lot of people on Twitter turned him into a meme. <clears throat> So as a result, he freaking uh, acted. He decided to freaking say, "You use my physical permission," and <coughs> and his freaking and his friends try to defend, and his so-called friends try to defend him and call and accuse people. And he accused people of trying to kidnap him or saying that's a good way to get me kid, kidnapped, kidnapped, or freaking. He's like, "Oh, I'm going to get kidnapped, or people going to commit a hate crime against me." <coughs> It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it's just like that crazy TikToker who, it's just like that freaking crazy TikToker who talked about, who talked about the, who talked about making a sexuality called super straight and how he got death threats and doxxed. <laughs> and yet a lot of people say that he deserved it because potatoes. <laughs> but yet, <clears throat> but yet when that person talked about beating up a cisset man, freaking got freaking got freaking turned into a meme, everybody is so quick to act like it's the end of the world. Americans and their double standards. Another reason, so much hypocrisy. Another reason for me to move to Vietnam. Another reason for me to move to Vietnam. Crazy, isn't it? <coughs> but after a few days, um, <coughs> he stopped becoming to me. I stopped hearing much about him. How do I? How did I hear about that Marshall person? Well, I didn't come by him intentionally. I was looking for some K-pop pictures on Twitter. Don't ask. And I have not heard about him. Seems like K-pop Twitter seems to have a lot of these, these crazy, these crazy Nazis. <laughs> and I don't know why K-pop Twitter always keeps on freaking, keeps on freaking, uh, keeps on somehow freaking, keeps on freaking, uh, redirecting me to heterophobes. I mean, I just want to, I don't give a shit about, I don't give a shit about what, what, a, what, what a bunch of neurotypical white kids have to say. I don't care about what a bunch of rich, neurotypical white kids have to say about other people's sexuality. I just want some damn K-pop pictures.
Damn it. I should have saw that coming. Kills the doorbell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have y'all ever heard any schoolyard rumor rumors back in the day? I heard I heard back in the day <clears throat> there were schoolyard rumors. <clears throat> there was freaking schoolyard rumors about Song of the Hedgehog and Tails. <clears throat> Said Sonic and Tails were in a homosexual relationship. <coughs> and of course, Christian, being a notorious homophobia, is. <coughs> and a freaking has freaking excluded Tails or any retailer of him or to kill anything out of his Sonic Shoe comics because <coughs> of freaking because some because some people speculate because Christian because <coughs> Christian didn't want to, didn't want any character that. They don't want any recolor of any care of a character who tempted who quote unquote who tempted Sonic off the straight path. That's gonna be gold cool taken out of context. Well, that's gonna be gold cool taken out of context. <coughs> of course, Christian's words. Yeah, my. Yeah, Christian's words, not mine. <coughs> yeah, Christian was all about the quote unquote straight path. He was always quote unquote trying to stay on the straight path and trying to make sure others stay on the straight path. You know, his words not mine. <coughs> it hits his words not mine. He doesn't look up saw nails on Google Images. Yeah.
Tails is adorable. These were Patty, not for. I'm not even gonna finish that sentence. I'm not even gonna finish that sentence. I don't want the FBI to show up at my doorstep. <laughs> Or, of course, Hunter Biden and Joe Biden might say, Oh, stop it. <laughs> I bet if freaking, uh, <coughs> if, I, I bet if any of these, uh, cringy Sonic fans look up so nails, <coughs> <coughs> I bet Joe Biden and Hunter Biden would probably be like, Hey, stop, sec stop, hey, stop looking up, stop freaking, stop being, stop being weird for short children. That's my job. I bet Joe Biden would probably be like, Stop being weird about children. That's my job. Yeah, but Joe Biden would probably be like, I bet Joe Biden would probably be like, hey, stop being weird around, stop being weird about kids. It's my job. Probably Hunter Biden would do the same thing because, you know, they're both sickos. <laughs> but of course, Hunter Biden likes his crack. Joe Biden likes his kids. my or no wait actually Joe Biden would probably say that's my you know the thing <laughs> political humor never gets old <laughs> yeah dark humor is like it's like food not everyone gets it <laughs> I've been part of Hunter Avalon's Discord ser server. It's pretty cool. You should go check it out. I recommend checking it out. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> I freaking one time saw this hilarious meme of Joe Biden saying, I agree with Bernie Sanders at the minimum age to be 15, and Obama saying, he said minimum wage, Joe. He said minimum wage. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. These Joe Biden memes, these, these anti-Joe Biden memes are funny. <laughs> I like anti-Trump memes too. I like both anti-Trump memes and anti-Biden memes because they're both hilarious. Let go of me, spider. <coughs> I'm not a fly. <coughs> hey, those spiders want to catch. If there's anybody worth those spiders want to catch, oh wait, they don't want to catch Hunter Biden. They probably get cracked dust. They'll probably get cracked dust all over their freaking all over their spider webs. getting dark or is just it's, it's something getting dark <laughs> all right <sighs> all right song of the hedgehog game gear version <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tried some almond milk today. I tried some almond milk today. It's good. I love almond milk. <laughs> yeah, I love meatless burgers and almond milk. <laughs> yeah, what about what about dairy milk? Regular dairy milk? I like I like that too. <laughs> I also like soy milk. <laughs> yeah. I 
tried a turkey burgers once and well, you like them. They were disappointing to say the least. Turkey burgers were disappointing to say the least. Come. Damn it. I remember, <coughs> I remember there was, <coughs> where's ooze? Oh yeah, I probably gotta unlock some of these games. <coughs> I need to freaking unlock some of these freaking games. <sighs> <coughs> Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. What? What's going on? What's that sound? Yeah, I'm probably just hearing things. scenarios <laughs> beans beans leave me let me give you a hand or two <laughs> I prepare to Dr. Robotnik a beautiful come into my arms my beauties <clears throat> you know you know this freaking game gives me gives, gives all the feeling of a freaking old Saturday morning cartoon You know, you know this this game this game get this video game gives me the feeling of an old Saturday morning cartoon for some reason. You know, <laughs> like the kind that were popular during the nineties. <clears throat> and of course, Saturday morning cartoons were also were also big in the early two thousands as well. thinking maybe should I become a VTuber? <coughs> I wonder should I become a VTuber? <coughs> Basically VTuber stands for virtual YouTuber. <coughs> Basically a VTuber is like a basically a like a hologram that's <coughs> basically a hologram YouTube a virtual hologram YouTuber <coughs> that's been very popular on on Twitch and YouTube. <coughs> Like they're commonly come in the form of an anime character, of an anime girl, or sometimes even an anime boy. Yes, there are some VTubers who are in the form of anime boys too. I'm subscribed to one. <laughs> I'm subscribed to a few VTubers, <coughs> like Project Melody and Gore Gora. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. <laughs> but she's the sharky lolly. She's the sharky lolly. <laughs> oh yeah, <clears throat> and I need to remind everyone: ravioli, ravioli, don't lose the sharky lolly. Seriously, don't loot her. She's a lolly. <coughs> she's a pure soul. Don't. She's a pure. Ver you. You get what I mean. <coughs> yeah. Just don't loot the sharky lolly. <coughs> if you please.
Let me know in the comment section down below if I should consider becoming a VTuber. I should just become a VTuber. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below if I should become a VTuber. Arms are always is always too wrapped up in himself. I'm a bright spark though, and I reckon I know how to beat you. Yeah, we'll see about we'll see about that, Tin Can. We'll be, we'll see about that, Mr. Tin Can. All right. Oh, this robot's really getting bad. All right, that's it. That's it, serious. Rage quit. That's it, rage quit. I call rage quit. Seriously, let me know in the comment section down below if I should be a VTuber. <laughs> yeah, seriously, let me know in the comment section if I should if I should be a VTuber. <clears throat> should I make myself into a VTuber or make my OC into a VTuber? <clears throat> By the way, my o my OC is a my OC is a my OC <clears throat> is a femboy is a femboy vampire. is a femboy vampire named Shota Shirogani. <coughs> he's basically my <coughs> he's basically my uh, SAO OC that I that I kind of uh, created in that I created <coughs> that I created in the game <coughs> SAO Fatal Bullet on Xbox One with my buddy Fearless. <coughs> <coughs> Let me know in the comment section if I should make my if I should be a be the VTuber if I should be the VTuber or should my OC Shota be a VTuber?
Of course, if my <coughs> of course if my OC <coughs> does become a VTuber, I might I might end up putting him at risk of being Ara Ara and being some Ara Ara that potential fan being Ara Ara by potential fans. <coughs> but let me know if I should take that risk in the comment section down below, or if I should just be the VTuber instead. Oh yeah. <coughs> Take that, robot. <coughs> yeah! In your face, robot. Good stuff. <coughs> Get ready, besties. I'm about to 
I'm about to freaking, I'm about to pwn this robot. Play a little Sonic Drift and then I'll I'll wrap it up. <laughs> hey, did you know that Sonic Drift is only released in Japan? Drift was only freaking released in Japan. In Japan. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, Sonic Drift was only released in Japan <coughs> on the Sega Game Gear. <coughs> this was the only. This was. This was the only way most American gamers got to play this game through this, through the Sonic Mega Collection Plus. <coughs> Speaking of Sega Game Gear. <coughs> Did you, <clears throat> did you know they had a freaking Coca-Cola themed Sega Game Gear only in Japan? <coughs> that that comes with the Coca-Cola Kid view game that only released in Japan? <coughs> yeah, <coughs> yeah, the Coca-Cola Kid was basically the Coca-Cola mascot was the mascot of Coca-Cola Japan. Just like how Pepsi Man was the mascot for Pepsi of Japan. <coughs> I know it's mind blowing, isn't it? Coca-Cola had an anime boy mask had an anime had an anime <coughs> Yeah, Coca Cola's mascot in, in the 1990s. Yeah, Coca Cola, Coca Cola, Coca Cola Japan's mascot. Coca Cola Japan's mascot was a was an anime Shota. <coughs> well, Pepsi's mascot in Japan <coughs> was basically a humanoid was a humanoid creature that freaking turns things into Pepsi. Yeah, <coughs> and. <coughs> And of course, Pepsi Man got a video game on the PlayStation in the late 90s, which again, also only released in Japan. <laughs> Pepsi Man! Yeah, <clears throat> you should definitely see the Pepsi Man commercials on YouTube. Yeah, they have the Pepsi Man commercials on YouTube. But <clears throat> you should see them, they're pretty, they're pretty funny. <clears throat> Even though they were only aired in Japan, they took place in, in the United States and Europe. Weird, huh? <laughs> yeah, Sonic Drift is basically the Mario Kart of Sonic, <laughs> but never released in America until this game. Until it was part of this game that I'm playing right now. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty interesting story, isn't it? <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to like and subscribe.